Hello, we are <clears throat> back with the world of t -t -t tanks. Uh, I lowered the graphics, so hopefully, hopefully, that'll fix the the frame rate issues. I think I might know what's happening. The frame rate issues is because it seems, for some reason, Fraps is converting, or is I don't know how to put it, but Usually when this records and other games record it finishes a half hour, you know, half hour long recording set and it's a fairly decent size. This finishes like a 40 hour set and it's like 23 gigs and usually they're several times bigger than that for a half hour recording set. So I think what's happening is that Fraps is like rendering it out while I'm playing the game for some reason. So it's slowing my computer down, and it's making the file size smaller, which I'm not really sure why it does that. It's not a setting, and it doesn't... Move out. I'm pretty sure it doesn't do that with any of my other games, so I think that's a problem, and I'm not really sure why... I tank flips. I don't know, kind of weird. Not exactly sure why it does that, or what settings I can change. I assume it would be on fraps, but as I said, this seems to be the only game that does it. However, I lowered the settings, so the frames do definitely seem to be pretty much three times better than normal by lowering it down from medium to low. There is also minimum, which I didn't really want to do because it probably looked like NES graphics, but looks like lowering it down to low is perfectly acceptable. I, I haven't even been like studying this at all, I've just been kind of driving. So it's tier 4, blah 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 blah. blah. Everything seems to be normal. Holy BT7 Batman. Does that thing like not destroy destroy walls and one hit that thing's gun? That kind of sucks, if you ask me. Okay, okay. I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to drive here so I can have some cover. I'm going to, um, oh crap. Here we go. That definitely didn't work out as planned. Didn't work out for him either. Alright. Yeah, I'm kind of boxed in, guys, so any help would be much appreciated. Could you please? Yeah, I'm gone. There's no way I'm getting out of this one. This is like... This is kind of sad. It's just they're all battering me. There we go. It took three tanks to bring me down. I'm a light tank. That's kind of sad, actually. I was just kind of sitting there getting shot at by three different tanks. And eventually they brought me down. Yeah, I didn't definitely didn't go as planned. Did not go quite as planned. But I actually little oh, this is gonna suck. I actually lived quite a bit longer than I thought I was going to. Just box in there by quite a few tanks. Probably because the the M2 didn't really seem to know what he was doing, and the M3 had me boxed in but had that stupid little 37mm. I think it's a 37mm the really crappy gun that he has. And it was pretty much the B1 that screwed me over when he showed up. Uh-huh. Well, this is not gonna be fun. I can tell you that much right now. At least the frames are good. That'll be the one fun thing about- Ooh! I know what I'm gonna do. This is the first time I've done this map, I think, since somebody told me via comments, which, as always, I, I like your comments telling me what I'm doing wrong or what random things that happened. I'm not really sure of what happened, and you tell me what happened. Like, when I drove off the cliff or the hill last time, and I guess I got some air and both my tracks broke, I got a couple of comments telling me about that, so thank you to those people. But apparently, yes, you can go inside this building now. This is amazing. Look at this. I'm inside. This is like the first time I think I've ever been inside a building in World of Tanks. This is amazing. Look at this. I'm on like... I guess this is like the boarding platforms for the trains that people get on, or at least a loading, unloading docks or something like that. Can I go over this? No, I can't. Well, I don't know why I can't go over that, because that seems perfectly... Uh, perfectly... Scalable? Perfectly climbable? Well, that was an epic first barrage by our side. All three of us missed an SU-100M1. 
I remember reading about that in the patch update, but I'm not really sure how good that thing is. I know the SU-100 messes me up. Not sure how the SU-100, what's it called, M1? It's probably like a better version, so it'll mess me up even more. Because I do not like facing the SU-100. That thing's not fun. But there's an easy 8 here, which I can't hit. There's an H over there, VK. Can't hit him. Maybe if we can get this guy to back up. Or, oh, there's a, that's a Stug. We're going to face a Stug than an SU. Did that seriously just hit, like, right there? That seriously looks like that just hit right Either that, or that was an enemy shot that hit the little archway. But it looked like it was my shot that hit the archway. So, good shooting. Not really sure how you got the bullet to, to go out of your gun at, like, a 45-degree angle. But... I'm sure if you tell the rest of the military that, you'll get some sort of, like, government contract for making guns that shoot at 45 degree angles. Pretty sure the Nazis were experimenting with that during, during, uh, World War II. Like, guns that shot at, like, random angles or something like that, like, curved barrel guns. One of those random things that the Nazis did. Everything else the Nazis did was pretty random. They definitely had some random stuff they were building, like the giant tank that, like, I don't know, it, it was powered by, like, four U-boat, a submarine, U-boat engines. I think it was called, like, the Rat, which is kind of ironic, but, yeah, that thing. Well, that's not good. Um, okay, I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. I got this guy, I got this guy. Right there. I don't got this guy. Good job. Good, good shooting, Red 2. Okay, that's your... What? Come on! No. Thank you! That was way too much trouble for that. I should have gotten him on at least a second shot. But no. It has to just mess me up big time. Whatever. I still won. That's all that matters. I got one kill. A 10% health tank. There wasn't even any tiers above me. It was just a lot bigger. But yeah, the rat tail was just this giant tank that... I don't even... It was huge. It had like AA guns built onto it and I'm trying to think like pretty much it wouldn't be able to fit down the street. That's how big it was. It was huge. It was probably like it would probably like not even be able to fit into that. Maybe. Maybe it'd be able to fit into that church courtyard over there. It was a really big tank. It was never built. But they sure as hell were seriously considering it. And definitely had the the blueprints. The blueprints for it. All set up and whatnot. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of driving around, tying on Nazi experimental weapons. And I'm driving into... I don't even know why I turned that. I just tapped the right button and I did like a giant turn. Is that that 100M? 100M1? Yeah. Okay, it's a tier, tier 7, so, pretty sure that 100 is just a tier 6, so yeah, I'd say that's definitely an upgrade over the other one. Oh, there's an Artie up there, there's a priest. That's the last tank, too, just that priest that's sitting up on the hill. Oh, well, I'm just gonna park here and rest, because there's no way I'm gonna be able to beat anybody else up there. There, rush failed, you misspelled there, good sir. However... Since I don't feel like being the grammar Nazi of World of Tanks, I will not correct him. And I usually don't correct people on their spelling unless it's like a friend, and I know it really annoys them, and then I do it, and then it really annoys them, and it's funny. That's generally when I'm a grammar Nazi. Either that, or if just like the spelling is so atrocious, and the grammar is just atrocious. I actually survived that entire battle. That was nice. Just kind of driving around aimlessly. Not a care in the world. Good job, good job. I have enough money to get... Hmm. <laughs> I think I'll do that next... Eh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how much money I have. Because I have enough money to get the chaffee. The chaffe. So we'll see. So we'll, we'll see either... Either this time... At the very end, after I do the my M41... I'll either sell my M5 and get the Chaffee and do a first Chaffee mission, or next time I record, I'll do the first Chaffee mission. 
So I'm, I'm not sure. It just depend on like what time it is by the time we get done. So it's kind of late. And I, I still want to play some other games. XCOM. I recorded some of that earlier today. I want to get back to playing XCOM. That game is an incredible game. Time to roll out. That game is an incredible game in Dishonored, which came out on the same day. That game is also incredible. Both those games just blew me away with how good they are. Like, really. It was really, really good. Good times there. Not gonna lie. And both those games made me really happy. I beat Dishonored earlier today with low... kind of. I got the good ending because I didn't run around killing everybody. I pretty much only killed the people that, like, needed to be killed in terms of they spotted me and they're coming at me with a sword and I didn't have any sleep darts and then I'd kill them. So I, I didn't kill that many people. It was, it was a good, 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 I, that game, it, it was a little short though, but other than that, i definitely say it was a very fun game and would highly recommend it. And I will be doing an LP of that, and I'll probably be going just through, uh, like, just being just a horrible person on my next time, just killing everybody for no reason other than that I don't like their existence. So 